Uganda Africa Northern Uganda Lucky the bad boy African Nyako Straight from Bakwacho Nebio Chuna Barriereo Zumbo Upuruyo Atuchi Alufati di Podu Mamuleru Kokoli Kokoli Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In case you're new, please subscribe, hit the like button, and press the notification bell so every time I post a video. Here, to my videos. So today we're going to be cooking this. Auntie, how do they call it in English? Oh, uh, for, you know, dry fish. Dry fish. Pepper fish, you know? Pepper, pepper fish, yes, by the way. So we have pepper fish, and this one is dry fish. This one is angarized. Mm. Like, by one of the my I'm Jama Kacha Kacha. So my tribe is Jonam and this is like our delicacy. We eat angara. It's called angara. It has tiny bones, one. Mm. A lot of bones. So if you were not careful, the bones can can prick you. So we are going to prepare it. And then this is oh, Oluweka. Oluweka. Okra. Okra. This is okra or babia. So we're going to be cooking it with bamia. The Swahili, they call it in bamia. Bamia, it's in Swahili? Uh, oh, I didn't know. Bamia. I thought it's also the <laughs> Galua. <laughs> no, bamia is in Swahili. Guys, if you're fr from Kenya, Tanzania, please let us know. Is it true? It's called bamia. Bamia. So, Oluweka Tia Lebalua. Our language is called Oluweka. Oluweka Tia Lebjuna. Yeah, so we're going to cook, and that's, this is how the fish looks like. It's salted, so this is... This can stay for how long? Even in three for three months. Three months. So mm. they just do like this and then they put salt and sun dry. That's the way of preserving it, as you can see. For example, behind these ones here, they're going to remove them because you cannot cook them with scar. Rush my leg, it's a little bit. Okay. There is this type of fish is also there, but the name is different. But you remove the cover, but some you don't remove. But this one you have to remove the cover. This one you have, you have, you have to remove because the tail is too strong mm. and hard. It's hard. Mm. Mm. The scale. The scale is. Mm. But it's so salted. Mm. So you guys, you can see. Then after, so these after are the scales, guys. You can see the scales. This scale you cannot spoil it for the duck. So you collect it and then you give to duck the. Oh, we are going to use them to feed the ducks. Mm -hmm. So after, cutting. So we are going to cut it into pieces. This is the most delicious part. Mm -hmm. This one plus the head. 
Ja i to je na to. Guys, this is still raw. We have not yet prepared. It's just sun dried to preserve it. Head of the family. <laughs> Children don't eat the head. The wife doesn't eat the head. It's only the head of the family. So the father to eat. What if you don't have a husband? You don't have. Uh, you eat the head. If you are big in that family, okay. they can respect it. But if you don't have the husband, you can give to your mother in law mm. or your like father in law. So guys, if you get married here in this village, don't you ever eat the head of the groom. So we have, and uh, we're going to light the fire, then put, we're going to see guys, so make sure you subscribe if you have it. This is our okra. So we are going to cut it also in two pieces. So guys, we are going to wash it because it has a lot of salt for preservation. So in order to remove the salt, you have to put it in water and then scrub the salt off, as you can see. We already removed the sound, it is here, it is a main thing here, you see. So we are going to boil it like that. So this one we don't fry, right? It's just boiling. Boiling with so this is traditional cooking we use this pot for cooking you don't use a saucepan mm -hmm. but these are metallic pots because the clay pots can easily break so we decide to use the metallic one going to add water in it and then the size of water so you don't put so much water right mm. this is enough you can see it looks fresh and then you set your fire Put something to support it to reduce size to come normal. You just make it like this. 
So we are going to leave it to boil and then later we will add okra in it. So we are going to be cutting okra right now. And then we put so guys we we're going to wait for that to first boil then we will show you guys later what is next so like i see the size of soup is a juice so i'm going to put our bamia you pour inside direct Like we put it like that, it's not going to take much, you know, too much time. You are going to put another paste. Peanut paste. Peanut butter. Yes, auntie's phone is ringing so let's wait when she comes then we continue with our cooking 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 please subscribe hit the like button and press the notification bell Peanut butter. Me. You know the food in the That's pest. Here, look at the one. Oh, baby. Check it out. 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 Check it out.
a new mother. This is maize flour. Maize flour. Corn flour. Uh, the second class because the they, they the first class they call it ordinary when they grain with cava. This one, the one with the cava. They have ordinary. And you don't mingling in our local panel. <laughs> you use the saucepan. <laughs> you use the clean saucepan because it was too white. Showing the one is super very big. Very manual. You know, this can I have.
So guys, that was it with our food. Now we are going to eat. So basically, that was Zangara and Okra or Bamia, whatever you want to call it, you can call it that way. So let's enjoy our meal and see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And if your first time, if it's your first time to come across this channel, you're most welcome. Please subscribe and stay. And for my returning subscribers, I do appreciate. See you in the next video. Bye.